Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be taking these two logos that were posted on the subreddit and I'm going to redesign them to make them more aesthetic, aesthet aesthetically pleasing. So if you like these types of videos, please press the red subscribe button down below. Plantify. To be fair, there's nothing really wrong with this. It's very simple, but the problem is, is I feel like there's a lot missing in terms of character. Don't get me wrong, I love simple design. It's one of the things that some people love and hate, but I have like this love-love relationship with it. However, in certain situations, this doesn't work. And let me explain why. The color scheme, I like it for the style. But because you've just got these two lines there, I feel like it's overly simplified and it's not very unique. Those lines, I keep talking about it, but those lines are so generic. We want an actual brand of this. We want it to feel like it's, you know, a bit more homely, a plant, more natural. There's also a few mistakes of kerning in there. You all know I hate it when there's bad kerning. I am the kern police. It's the kern police. The L is way too far from the P. The A is okay. The N is too far from the A. You get the drift. It's all kind of hit and miss. If you squint your eyes, you can actually see it a little better. So I'm going to redesign this. But first, before I do any of the redesign, I need to go ahead and sketch some stuff out. I need to try and come up with an icon that would work. Will from the future here. I'm trying to find some ways of bringing a leaf or something that people would instantly recognize as natural into the P. I feel like there's a lot of ways we can do this, but I found this way where we can add a leaf into the counter of the P and it looks really good. Ugh. Okay, back into Illustrator. What I like about this idea is that it's a bit more natural botanical. It's got that idea in there. What we need to do though is find a typeface that would work well with it. Let's find a good serif typeface. Okay, I found this one here. I like this one. This is New Spirit. It's on Adobe type. It's got this cool N in the middle, which kind of slants over. It just looks a bit cute. See all the rounded corners? That's the natural part. It kind of looks like stems, which is what I'm going for. Also a bit retro as well. I like that. So with that, I'm going to just copy it and we're going to create some outlines here. I'm going to earn group and I'm just going to press command two to lock those in place. Okay. What I'm going to do is take this. I'm just going to make a big chop down the middle. I need to sort of make sure that this part here is kind of out. You could use the eraser tool as well. It doesn't have to be perfect for this type of logo. Now what I could do is I could take this design here and trace it with the pen tool and then add it in. But because we've already got a font and it's kind of this bubbly retro, it's not perfect or perfect looking. We could get away with using the pencil tool and everyone can use that. So I'm gonna select my shape, press N. And what I can do is try as much as possible to get this to look good. And it's very, it can be quite difficult at first. Oh, I think we got it there. You can see the, a couple of issues that we've got going on here though. I kind of like that. When I've got something that helps, I'll basically copy it, undo, and I'll paste it somewhere over here. There's a little tip for you there. This is gonna take a while, so you can watch a sped up version. And minus anchor point because I want to get these anchors to be like as correct as possible all the way through because I kind of like that. I'm going to cut this off actually around that. And whenever I've gone wrong, I'm going to just like basically go back in like so. That's the cool thing about the pencil tool. You can sort of keep going. Now, if you have an iPad, you can actually connect your Mac to it as like a Cintiq and draw directly because right now I'm using my mouse. Very difficult, but to show you this, I need to use my mouse. It's taking me a bit longer. Now I'm just deleting certain anchor points and moving certain anchor points into a position where it makes it easier for me to edit, doing that horizontal and vertical, just to make it a bit easier. Okay, now that I've got the desired effect, I'm quite happy with it. I like the look of it. It looks nice. We need to worry about color now and what else we're going to be doing with it. So I'm going to group this all together, unlock these, group these all together. We've got the main logo here. It's looking pretty good. Now I found this really nice plant palette that I'm going to use, which is these nice greens. I'm going to create a new art board and a new layer that we're going to put underneath. We'll call this background. We'll start off with that nice color there. Take our logo, we'll shove it in and we'll find the right hue or the right color for this. I quite like that, that looks pretty good. Now something else we could do around this is create some other shape. 
shapes, like some other leaf shapes to go with it. I'm not done with this, but just to recap, I think it looks a lot nicer, more homely. It's got more of the retro vibes because of the colors. It's also got those natural colors in there without it being too cliche. Obviously it will be because there's a leaf directly in there, but that's fine. The next thing I want to do is mock it up and start to show it on like business cards and stuff to make sure it works. But also it's great for your client presentation. We're going to right click and we're going to export the selection. Now I'm exporting it as a PNG because we're going to be using the sponsor of today's video, Kittle, to mock this up and create some assets around it. Let me show you how it works. We're going to go and create a new project on Kittle's website. Now I'm just going to write business card. I'm going to get it up to 300 DPI, which is what you want for print. I've just uploaded Plantify's logo. I'm going to shove this directly into my artboard here. I'm just gonna scale this up so it's somewhere in the middle. We can zoom in, zoom out. Nice. Now the cool thing about Kittle is that when you go to elements here, if you're just wanting to really quickly add some illustrations, things just to top it off and then show it to a client, then this is a really quick way of doing it. So I'm just gonna go into illustrations here and I'm going to sort of scroll down till we find some flowers. We've got some vintage flowers here, but I don't think that will work very well. We need more of the fine florals. That's more like it. Okay, I'm gonna take this in because it kind of works. It's got the same style. We'll need to change the color slightly. So we'll go up here. I like that color there, that kind of works change it to this green here. We'll change the background as well to that nice color. Drag this one in too, circle it around. It's a very easy program to get used to. You literally just drag and drop things in if you want it. So I'm just using the assets all the way through the ones that I think will work well. We could add some of that tertiary pink into there. It might make it quite feminine though. I don't want it to be purely feminine, but I'm quite happy with that for like the front cover of the business card. Let's say I just needed to give this to a client or I just wanted to mock it up to see what it's like. Well, in Kittle, we can just press mock up and this is where it gets pretty cool. We get these t-shirts, we get all these different things that we can use to mock up our work, including business cards. So I'm just gonna click on business cards. It will open up with the background all correctly colored for me. And when I scale it and put it into position, you can see how it works. It's, it's right in line with what it should be. That's looking pretty cool as a business card. I'm just going to save that. But also bags, bags are a pretty nifty one to have. So I'm just doing this. I'm not even dragging, dropping it. I'm just putting it in. I like the way that that looks too. Let's get it onto this bag. This one looks cool. And just like that, you can see how well it works. Kittle isn't just a place for mock-ups. If you're new to design, you can actually use it to design lots of things. There's so many templates in there too for you to get started with. I'm quite happy with the look of it. It it looks nice, very simple. It's got more of that homemade feeling to it too now. With those mock-ups, it makes it stand out too. But let me know what you think down below. The second logo is this Sunrise Yoga Studio. And I saw this and I thought, you know, the concept's there. I like the idea, but the execution isn't. Well, I thought keeping in line with today's sort of handmade feeling, I would go ahead and make this even more handmade and hopefully a little bit different to what you're trying to achieve here. The problems with this design are it looks like you've just used a font and squished it, which is what exactly what I think you've done. And the sun rays kind of look like hair gel from the 90s, you know, from some 41, that dude hair gel all the way back. And you've got three different colors there. It's not really an icon that you want to use. So what do we do in these situations? Well, I'm going to go ahead and quickly draw up sunrise in my iPad, make it a bit more fun and playful so it doesn't look corporate at all, looks a bit more homemade. Okay, I've got this type that I really like here. I like the fact that it's stacked up down, but there's no real sense of sun in there other than the name. It looks good, it's playful, but there's no real sun in there. So I need to find out a way of doing it. So this is gonna become a bit more illustrative than you would normally find. I found out during the drawing stage that if you don't have any sort of visuals in there, it doesn't really work. You can't just write sunrise and then that's it. People need to know that the sort of idea behind it. I wanna get across the idea of the brand rather than the product. So this is what I thought we would do. This sketch here works well. I like the fact that it's rippling and it's the sun itself is the Letters, the sort of idea of it. It's composed relatively nicely too. So I've taken this and we're gonna create this. Now there's a few ways of me creating this actually. What I could do is really quickly, we could image trace this. Illustrator has a new image trace function now. But instead of that, I'm gonna quickly pen tool this in. And when I say quickly, I mean very quickly. Now 
Now, I'm not looking for the lines to be perfect on this. I want it to have that playful feeling. So I'm not too bothered about me making mistakes. I could even use the pencil tool if I really wanted to, but I feel like it wouldn't give it enough justice. Okay, after all that, I've got this. It's very simple, kind of rudimentary, something that you wouldn't normally catch me doing on the channel, but I feel it's got a way around it. It's got something about it that's a bit more charming. Okay, now to get across the idea, what I thought was, obviously we'll sort of color this in. I found this nice color palette for sunrise. Got blues and everything. It looks really good. And what we could do is stick to our original idea of keeping this, or we could go ahead and play around with it in different ways, you know, doing this, going up for a rise. We could even like create an icon maybe as like an idea. So we could take the star, make some points out of it. Maybe take a few of them away actually take the S, shove it in. To kind of create an icon with it, we could do that. That's one of my ideas there. But really what I wanna do is do what my drawing said, which was create this sort of rise here in the middle, like a horizon line. But I'm gonna mess around with this a bit. What I wanna do is get the type to work. You'll find this, whenever you're designing logos, you'll always like flip flop from doing one thing to another. Okay, now that I've got that, I'm gonna start drawing that horizon line and then see what happens with the sun coming up. Can we make it look as though the sun's coming up? I think the best way of doing this would be to create myself a nice stroke. You can select both of these. I'm just going to copy this over. You may notice I copy my logo over quite a lot in Illustrator. That's because I don't want to destroy something that I've previously done. I always want the ability to go back. I want to make sure that the actual type is far enough underneath so that when I use the Shape Builder tool, and we cut it off, it looks like it's emerging from the ground. I don't think that's far enough. I think we go further down. Slight increments. Obviously this being more illustrative, the scalability goes out the window. So what you would need to do is create an icon, something like this. What I will do as well, with all of these sort of little bits here, we can sort of just make some on the side of it, bring these little bits up move that there and for these lines at the bottom what i think i want to do is create some more s curves in the same styling but we'll round those off too now that we've got that i'm going to go ahead and outline this stroke here I'm going to group it all together let's get a nice background on this because i want to see what that blue looks like the lovely blue background i dig it i like it a bit more fun a bit more playful so what you can see me doing now is using kittle to create some brand assets around it mocking it up making it look good so i can present it to you guys. Now, if you'd like 30 days free access to the pro plan, which gives you all these mockups and even more features inside of Kittle, then click my link down below and use the code WILLJULY. The code is only valid for one week today, so please use it right now. Just give it a go and see what you think. Kittle's got loads of tutorials, loads of inspiration on their YouTube channel as well, so go check them out. If you enjoyed this logo redesign video, thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. If you did watch, say lemon. I always like to see people. Share the video, subscribe if you haven't, and if you're up for another redesign video, thank you. Watch this one. This one's great. <laughs>